Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the torque equation of a DC motor. Subscribe this channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. First you will see what is torque. Torque is the twisting or turning moment of a of force about an axis. So it is nothing but twisting force or turning moment. So rotation. Rotation with a force is called a torque. So it is the product of force and radius at which the force is acting. So it is a product of the radius and force. Now consider this. This may be a drum brake drum of the DC motor. So, radius, this is radius Rm. So, rotation N in RPS, revolution per minute. So, this is the force created F. So, this F into Rm is nothing but a torque. What is the force created and what is the radius? These two will give the, will give the torque, torque equation. So, that is given torque equal to R into F Newton meter. The unit is Newton meter. Let the force of F Newton act on pulley of the radius R meter and rotate at a speed of N RPS revolution per minute. Then the torque is nothing but radius into force. So the torque is nothing but a twisting or turning moment of the force about its axis. So it is nothing but a product of what is the force created and what is the radius of the drum. Now we will see this work done by revolution, work done per revolution. So, our aim is to find the general equation for a torque. So, the work done by revolution equal to work done by force in one revolution. So, that this work done by force in one revolution means force into distance travelled. What is the force and what is the distance travel? That is given by this work done by the force. The force is F, distance travel is 2 pi r. 360 degree it is rotating 360 degree so that it is a circumference 2 pi r so 2 pi r f is nothing but work done per revolution the speed is given in rps speed n is given in the rps so revolution per second equal to n so rps revolution per second so the n is nothing but revolution per second so that work done per second is nothing but work done per revolution into work done per second. So, by multiplying these two we can get work done per second. This is work done per revolution. So, the work done per second is nothing but this is work done per revolution is 2 pi rf that is available here. Work revolution per second is nothing but n speed right. So, by multiplying these two work done by second equal to 2 pi n into t. So, this R into F is nothing but torque. This R into F is nothing but torque. We already discussed the radius and force is nothing but a torque. Right. So, that 2 pi n into T, 2 pi speed into torque, that is nothing but work done per second watts. So, this is the output we are getting. The power developed in the motor is nothing but 2 pi n T. Right. This T is nothing but R into F. So, the work done per second is nothing but a power developed that is equal to 2 pi n t watts. If the, if the speed is rpm then p equal to 2 pi n t. If the speed is rps, if it is rpm revolution per minute the power developed is nothing but 2 pi n t divided by 60. Right? If it is rpm or R, rpm or rps we need to use this formula. So, based on that we can go for a derivation of a armature torque is called a TA. Let TA be the torque developed by the armature rotating at n RPS. So, again we are taking only RPS, we are not taking the RPM, we are considering RPS. So, power developed based on the derivation power developed in armature is 2 pi n into TA watts. Just now we got this expression. The same thing the electrical equivalent of mechanical power developed. So, this is the power developed given in terms of the mechanical. In terms of electrical it is Eb into Ia back Emf into armature current. So, both are equal. This is given in terms of mechanical parameter, this is given in terms of electrical parameter. 
so we can equate on both the equations both are power develop so e b i a equal to 2 pi n into t a we will take this is equation number 3 so equation number 1 equation number 2 and this is equation number 3 but we know that the back m of e b is p pi n into z by a the general formula as so, this is the equation for generated e m of that can be used for back m of also now we can substitute this e b in this equation number 3 so e b into i a equal to 2 pi n t we substitute e b p pi n into z by a into i a equal to 2 pi n into t now n n got cancel this n number of speed speed is got cancel so p pi z i a divided by a into 1 divided by 2 pi equal to t a this 2 pi is brought in the new denominator so by rearranging that t a equal to 1 divided by 2 pi p pi z i a divided by a right so we by simplifying this 1 divided by 2 pi we got 0.159 the armature torque equal to 0.159 pi z i a into p by a the unit is newton meter now we got the expression for armature torque in the armature torque equation this number of conductor number of pole number of parallel path is always constant only the variable is pi into i a the flux and armature current these two are variable parameters remaining are constants are al always constant so by considering this pi and i a if it is series motor if it is series motor mean pi is directly proportional to i a because armature feel everything connected in series same current is flowing through the armature and load also so when the armature current increases the flux also increases so both are proportional to each other so pi t a equal to pi into i a right this pi can be replaced by i a because pi is proportional to i a so that it is i a square t a equal to i a square it is square of the armature torque is proportional to square of the armature current so when the armature current increases the torque also increases in a parabolic manner not a linear manner because of i a square it is in a increase in parabolic manner in case of series motor in case of shunt motor pi is constant this pi is constant so the ta is only proportional to ia when the ia increases the torque also increases in a linear manner this will be in a parabolic manner ia square but this is linear manner right so in series motor torque is proportional to armature torque is proportional to ia square in case of shunt motor it is proportional to ia so from the equation 3 we can go for one more derivation e b i a equal to 2 pi n into t a previously we substituted the e b value now we will keep e b as it is so that t a equal to e b by i a divided by 2 pi n this e b is brought this 2 pi n is brought in the denominator so this n is we consider as r p s if it is r p m you have to divide by 60 n is divided by 60 so this n divided by 60 it will go to the numerator 60 divided by 2 pi into e b i a divided by n so by simplifying this 60 divided by 2 pi we got 9.55 into e b i a divided by n newton meter so this is also one more expression given in terms of the back emf if we substitute the back emf the expression what we got is the previous expression so that is in terms of the number of pole number of conductor armature uh, number of parallel path all these things but here eb is kept as it is so based on the data we can use either this equation or previous equation 9.55 eb i a divided by n in the unit is newton meter now we'll go to the armature torque now we discuss the armature torque now we'll go to the shaft torque the part of armature torque is used to supply iron and friction loss and the remaining is available at the shaft as a useful work the torque developed in the armature is not fully available at the shaft some of the torque is lost due to iron and friction loss so the remaining will be available as a useful torque that is called a shaft torque so due to losses some torque is reduced the torque available at the shaft to do useful work is called a shaft torque tsh 
now we'll find what is the expression for tsh so the output of output of the motor at shaft equal to 2 pi n into tsh n is rps again we consider rps but the tsh equal to output of the motor divided by 2 pi n from this we can write this so shaft torque equal to output of the motor divided by 2 pi n suppose if it is the rpm if the speed is taken as rpm then it is output of motor divided by 2 pi n into 60 the 60 is 60 will go to the numerator so 60 divided by 2 pi output of motor divided by n by simplifying this we got 9.55 output of motor divided by n it's a shaft torque this one is applicable for rpm so the difference between this ta and tsh is the lost torque and is this due to the iron and friction loss right the, the torque developed in the armature is not fully available in the shaft that is some of the torque is lost due to iron and friction loss so that can be calculated by subtracting these two that will give the iron and friction loss in this video we discuss about the torque of the motor the general expression for torque of the motor followed by armature torque then shaft torque subscribe the channel for more video and notifications the soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening